Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to have the AI play a voice line or a sound effect of any kind whenever it spots the player. So in this it's going to spot the player, play a voice line and start chasing. However you can implement this however you want and it's actually a lot more simple than you might think. So if I hit play I'll show you what it's going to look like. So we have our AI over there. I'm going to walk into its radius. It's going to say enemy detected and start chasing us. Now if I lose it very quickly I'll show you it again. So I've lost it, you heard it didn't continue saying it after it spotted us, it said it once. And if we go back into its sight, it says it once more, and it continues chasing us again. So if I just lose it once again, you see it isn't spamming the sound effect, it only plays it once. You heard it again there as I quickly lost it and got it back again. And there we go, so this is what we're making today. Like I say, it's actually quite simple, but it can be very effective as well. So it doesn't continue playing all the time, only when it sees us for the first time after losing us just like detected. that. So let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first step we want to take is we want to import our sound effect. Now I'm using one which I got for freesound.org and this one is by someone named D. Hemming or however you pronounce that and it is licensed under the attribution license so if you want to use the sound effect you will need to attribute them as well so credit them, say who it's by and leave a link to it and stuff like that and I'll leave a link to it in the description down below where you can get more information on it and also download it there. But what it sounds like is that. So I'm going to be using this one today. And what we're going to do once you have that is we're going to right click on it and create a queue, keeping it the same name, whatever you like, or enemy detected queue like that. And I'm going to open it up straight away. And all we want to do in here is just tick override attenuation and hit save. And that's just purely because I want this to be location based. So it plays where the enemy is, or where the AI is, which sees us. I'm going to close that straight away and the rest of the code we just want to do in our enemy VP. So in this I'm going to be opening up my AI which I've named AI Enemy Voice. If you don't have one you can just duplicate your character blueprint, open it up and change all the code in there and the reason I have one is just because I have my very basic chase code in here which I'm going to be implementing into this as well which I went over more in a previous video. But once you've opened up your character blueprint we're going to go over to the viewport and that's the AI character blueprint sorry. We're going to go over to the viewport, add a component and we're going to add pawn sensing there like so. Leave all the settings as default but I'm going to change the peripheral vision angle to be 35 instead of 90 and I'll leave the sight radius as maybe 3000 instead of 5000. And if we just close this a bit, drag and drop our AI into the level and click it, you can see this green cone here is the sight. So I think the angle looks good but I'm going to lower the sight radius again to maybe 1200. I think that's good for me. You might want to have that bigger if you want but just for the example in this video that's how I'm having it. I'll make that full screen again. And then that's all we need to do for there really. This just allows the AI to actually be able to see the player. So again, make sure you've got C pawns enabled. And then in the bottom here we have events. I'm going to hit the plus on on C pawn. So it's going to fire off this event whenever it sees another pawn, which in our case is the player. And to make sure it is the player, we're going to come out of pawn there and cast to our character, which for me is third person character. But if you use could be third, first, whatever you've named it. And the reason we're doing this is just so it checks to see if we are looking at the character BP or at the player character. And if you don't want it to be specific to that, you don't need to do the cast. You can just come straight out of it. So after this, what we're going to do is hold down S, left click to get a sequence. Now what I'm going to do is then one, I'm going to go into my chase code as I want to implement this into playing the sound effect and the chase. So then one is going to go into my chase. You can do that in then zero if you want but I'm doing it off them one. And again, I'm not going into the chase code today. This is it, however, so you can look into that there. That's what it is, you can pause the video and copy it. But like I say, I do have a more in-depth video on creating a much better chase code than this. But that's it there, and that just means that it still will chase when it sees the player, as well as the sound effect. So then off of this then zero here for the sequence, I'm gonna hold down S and left click to get another sequence, connecting that to then zero. So we've got a sequence going to a sequence. Out of then one of this, we want to get a re-triggerable delay. I'm going to set the duration to be 1. And this just means one second after the AI stops seeing the player, it can then play it again once it sees the player. So essentially, if you walk out of the AI's sight and then walk straight back in again straight away, it's not going to play the sound effect immediately again because the AI wouldn't really need to say that as you haven't really left. But if you leave and then one second later you come back in, it will play the sound effect again. So you can increase or decrease that to be as much as you like. However, do not go below 0.6 as the pawn sensing interval is 0.5 by default. Don't go equal to or below that because then it will constantly spam the sound effect, which you don't want. 
So I'm going from one second. Then I'm going to hold down O with left click to get it to do once, connecting the execution into then zero and the reset into completed of the retruggable delay, because the do once will mean that obviously the play sound effect will only play it once, and then it will reset it after this duration of the delay has been completed, so one second after the AI stops seeing us. And because it's a retruggable delay, this will keep starting at one every time this event is fired off, so every time the AI sees us, which is perfect. Out of completed of the do once, we want to get a play sound at location, if I could spell that correctly, play sound at location there, with a sound being the sound effect we made earlier, which I named mine enemy detected cue there, and the location is just going to be get act location, so it plays it wherever the AI is, like so. And that's the code done. It's very, very simple. So what it is, is whenever the AI sees the player, it's going to play the sound effect, and it will only do it once until the AI stops seeing the player for a long enough duration, and then it can be played again as soon as the player is spotted again. And then again, I've also implemented this into my AI move to chase code, and I'm just going to connect as third person character into the root node here, so that the target actor is the character, so it will chase us. But this is it, very, very simple. So we compile, save, hit play, and I'll show you what this looks like. So the AI is over there, if I walk into sight, it's going to detect us, detected. play the sound effect, and then we can run away. And if I lose him, what I'm going to do is then be spotted Enemy again, detected. play the sound effect, like so. So again, this works perfectly. So it sees us, plays the sound effect, starts chasing us, but again, the chase isn't part of this video. And then I've run away, I've lost it, go back into its sight, I'm going to play the sound effect and start chasing us. Now you can see what it's doing there is you might hear it play twice sometimes. All we can do to fix that is just increase that delay. So if I set it to 2, that means it has to be out of sight for 2 seconds, not 1. So that works a little bit better, like so. Wait 2 seconds out of sight, go back in, it's going to see us like that. Spotted us, go back in, enemy detected, this works perfectly. Again, you can use this however you want, so it can be a voice line, any kind of sound effect, it can be an alarm. Essentially, whenever the AI sees the player, it's going to play the sound effect. Like I say, very simple, works great. If you have any more ideas or suggestions or you want to add something onto this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to help you out. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we've wanted to do. We set up this simple code in which when the AI sees us, it's going to play a sound effect and start chasing us, and again the chase is in a different video. But it plays the sound effect and it doesn't spam it either, it only plays it once. And as soon as we walk out of its sight and back in again, it will play the sound effect like that again perfectly. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.